Let me tell you of the days of high adventure. Hey guys, Coach Nate McBride with the Blade Fit Academy. And today I wanted to talk to you about another way of holding the heater shield. Um, so let me show you first off the straps. The way that I have designed my heater shield was based off of an example of a surviving heater shield from 1350, okay, the year 1350. So we have these two straps here and these two straps here, right? And so we have surmised that you could hold this. In a previous video, I talked about how you could grip it like this. You can grip it like, like this, okay? And that uh, when you grip it like this, you could approximate principles of I-33 um, quite directly uh, with the shield like that. But the problem is if you're holding the shield like this, your wrist and your grip and your, your arm, because you're extending the shield out, because you're extending the shield out, you fatigue very quickly in your arm. And um, as we know, as we know in the battlefield situation, uh, you were out there all day and it is impractical to be able to hold your shield out like this the whole day um, in a wartime atmosphere and I agree. That's why they have these two straps as well. And so of course you can do this type of situation where you're holding it like so. And, uh, and don't underestimate, I mean you could do this even and then strap this up better. Uh, if you wanted to do it that, one, that way, skip this totally. Um, you could, I'm not, a, I'm not a rider, but you could strap it like this. And now your left hand is free to hold the reins on your horse as you're going by and you can see that your leg is your leg is is covered quite well in that situation but also and we've seen it, the use of this strap down here in this configuration now I gotta tell you in a one-on-one -on -one duel I do not like this but in a wartime setting I think that this strap obviously existed for a reason. And one of the reasons I think is just for the fact that when you play around with a shield all day, your arm gets extremely fatigued, extremely fatigued. You get tight, you can't hold it. And even when you're, even when you're in a configuration like this and you're holding it up, even if you're bracing it against your leg, your arm is still bent and your bicep muscle is still firing. But by holding it down here, I'll grab my sword for illustrative purposes. When you're holding it, your shield in this configuration, and you're in your stance, holding the line, whatever you're doing, you could rest your shield on your leg, right? I don't even have to have a deep stance. I could just, like this, you could rest it on your leg. And now what's happening is I am totally relaxing my arm. But yet, when I turn this way and I present, I'm covering most of my vitals. I have a helmet, I have mail that goes over my neck, I've got a coif. Um, I have some kind of um, armor on my legs, so that's not gonna kill me if I've got chain mail on there or even some plated greaves, whatever. Um, chances are if they go for my legs, I could come back. Um, and, I, and I'm presenting um, quite a bit of armor a good protection against arrows and whatnot. And if I see something, I can very easily, just by a little bit of lifting of the arm, now I have this covering my head quite well from attack. And then I could just come back down here. Um, you know, uh, in a wartime situation, you want to preserve your energy as much as possible. Now I could still, I could still, like this, see, it's, I'm still like this the shield is resting on my leg, I could still put the leg back, but really I'm fighting. When I fight, I'm engaging my sword foot forward to hit my target, right? So I could still, I could still follow certain principles of I-33, right? I could still come here, come here, come here, right? Um, certainly. Right? That's not a problem. Right? 
and six, right? So I can still form, I could still perform the same basic functions that we find in the I-33 in this configuration using heater shield, but I don't have to extend my arm out too far. I could keep it down here, um, and obviously my hands aren't together totally. Um, like you would need to do with the buckler. However, those for those seven wards I could still conduct in this configuration. You see where you see where this this uh, this strap is, and where my fingers are. Right, this um, this is not a fluke. Right, see my fingers sticking out there, and um, you know what surmise that maybe they just hold the shield like this keep their fingers out of the way and that's a possibility certainly you'd want to keep your hand out of the way but also I want to explore another purpose for this shield uh, I believe that uh, I could still grab something um, in this hand so what does that mean well we know that swords in the medieval period were actually your your uh, your backup weapon and that the spear was your main weapon and so what I want to show you is that having your heater shield in this configuration actually was a perfect way to be able to use your shield and your spear at the same time now I, I can grab my shaft I could be here right and show you like this I can cover the line to my head quite easily with my spear out and I could still see my target very easily but if I'm fighting against another spear then I have a lot of protection against my opponent's spear thrust right and I can come back down here and wait now this is resting on my leg okay I've got my spear here right I could put it down like this right there's a lot of protection here and I'm not using a whole lot of effort at all. Um, so now against the dummy, I'm here like this, right? It's very simple, very easy to do, right? Simple, very amazing. Now, again, the key is in following the strap design, okay? So again, this is taken off of a surviving example from 1350. We've got these two main vertical straps and we have these two side straps, okay? One here and one here, okay? Like this, I could be riding and I got my hand totally free for reins, right? I can grab the, this, the shield like this I could center grip the shield, right? I can do this type of situation where I'm like this, right? And I could hold it down like here, right? To grab, to rest this down, to grab it here. And also at rest, I could cover most of my most of my body so anyway guys that's what I got for you today um, just uh, something to think about um, there's uh, some awesome purposes with the heater shield and it is quite a versatile tool and uh, yeah it's no wonder they were ubiquitous and very popular so that's all I got for you today I'm gonna get to working out with Nate McBride with Blade Fit Academy peace out Always remember, slay your demons and get yourself a shield and try it out. It's super duper fun. So guys, hope you enjoy today's episode and I'll catch you next time. See you guys.